Hello everyone, it's a Helpful Bubble here and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Starfall and I do apologize guys, I am still sick right now, um, so definitely don't mind the, um, the voice, but in between episodes I went ahead and did some work, um, I added another layer to the cactus farm and kind of AFK'd here for a few minutes. And yeah, got some great progress on that. And then I have just been AFK here at the skeleton farm trying to work on some stuff. Also, <clears throat> don't mind my armor. In between episodes, there is a new add-on that was introduced to the game. So, actually there's a few, but I downloaded two of them. The first one being the vital uh, the world utilities add-on so this adds like vein miner tree capacity tree capitator sorry the explosive pickaxe multi-block pickaxe in the frame breaker the omni tool spawn wrench and the void chest i am so excited about this because vein miner um basically it lets you break a whole bunch of blocks with just one pickaxe and then the tree capitator will break a entire tree in one hit so very excited about that i'm not really sure if i want to use these too much i might use the explosive pickaxe for the um uh, for it's never right hunting you know <laughs> And then another one was the magic add-on. Right? Is that what it's called? Magic spells created by Cyclone. I'm so excited for this because... Okay. L l let me talk to you guys real quick. You guys know that I love the idea of, like, magic and, like, being super cool. You know, you know, you know the vibes. So... Let's take a look at the Tome of Magic, which I was given this as soon as I added it to the world. So, let's see how it works. To start with magic spells, you need to find Mana Mato. Mana, mana Matote. Hostile mobs like skeletons or zombies have a small chance to drop one. In force areas, keep an eye out for a magical wisp who are guaranteed to drop at least one mana tote. Mana matote. I don't like this word because it really messes with my dyslexia. <laughs> um, once you collect your first mana tote, man, mana matote, the crafting recipes will unlock in the recipe menu and the crafting table. Okay, so what is mana? Mana represents your magic potential to cast spells. By default, you have 100 mana at your disposal. After you use some of it to cast a spell, your mana will regenerate naturally at a rate of 2 points each second. Wearing special magic attire can enhance your magic potential further. <gasps> we can wear stuff? We can wear a witch hat? You can restore a potion or portions of your mana quicker by consuming magic potions <gasps> or mana cookies. Okay. Well, I want to learn more about the magic attire. Okay. Infuse ordinary cloth with mama, mana matotes at the crafting table. Yields an armor suited for spell casting. Like no other, magic armor is surprisingly durable and can be enchanted to high levels and provides these extra bonuses. Okay, so looks like that each one of these gives extra mana. And prepared at an anvil using wool or mana matote. Okay, what about magic potions? <clears throat> Mana cookies are crafted by infusing ordinary cookies with mana totes on a crafting table. This process not only takes them, not only makes them more tasty, but also makes them restore 25 mana. Drinking a mana potion restores a whopping 75 mana instantly. To make one, just melt down a mana tote into water bottles. Oh, okay. Cool, cool, cool. 
And what is a list of Oh, there's a crap ton. Okay. Oh, they sound cool. Under blight. Conjure a large patch of radiant inter blight on a ground that damages mobs within every second. Okay, I'm just saying, I'm so excited to get started with this. And remember how it was saying that you can get mammotrotes from zombies and skeletons? Well, let me just show you what they look like. Because I have been here for a literal hours trying to get a whole bunch so we can make it all today. So I had zero mana metodes or whatever they're called. Now let's see how many I have. We have two. So they're they're pretty rare to get. Um like, as you can tell, I just got a whole bunch of, like, a whole bunch of skeletons. So, it does take a little bit to drop. In between episodes, I did get 44. So, now we have 46. So, we can make a whole lot with that. Um, where do we want to start with first? I am really excited about this, like, tree capitator and the vein miner. So, maybe we can start there. Um, I know we're going to need a whole lot of materials, so, also, I don't want to go through these mods, especially, like, the, the magic one, I don't want to go through them really quick, because I want to be able to take my time, since I have the majority of the materials, and just kind of enjoy them with you guys, if that makes any sense at all. So, let's run home real quick, and take a look at what's going on and what we're going to need also i am like so sad because i have um as you guys know i am still working on trying to start a new series and kind of like a modded series and i am really sad because the one mod that i was going to base the whole series around is having some bugs right now and um not only having bugs but also why is there a dragon in my in my living room okay interesting um not only is it having a whole bunch of bugs but also it's kind of um glitchy and the moderator isn't really working too much on the mod anymore right now. So it is kind of sad, but, you know, it is what it is. And hopefully, within due time, the creator will update a little bit more. Um, like, for example, I have updated the world to 1.25. Um, 1. And there was a lot of bugs with that too, so hopefully hopefully we can get that resolved pretty soon. We're gonna need two iron ingots and then two redstones and a diamond pickaxe. Um but yeah, in the meantime I'm still kinda limbo with that and as soon as it gets up and working, I'm going to start that series. Because I have been dying to play it. So, I'll keep you guys updated more with that, and kind of see how it goes. So, do they have the recipe? Okay, so they have all the spell recipes. Vein miner. There we go. I don't know why that wasn't registering. Okay, and then for the tree capitator we just need a diamond axe okay yeah i'm gonna have to remake it there we go tree capitator cool okay 
Oh, okay. So it says it's disabled and disabled. So if I click on it, oh, it's enabled. Oh. Tree capitator enabled. Okay, let's give it a shot and let's see if it works. So I would assume that it could work with my axe. Um, let's try this big tree since it's like humongous. Oh my god. I love this mod already. Does it take the extra wood pieces on like the leaves? Let's give it a try. Oh, this is amazing. Okay, so it does take the leaves. Oh, this is amazing. I love this. Oh my gosh. This is going to make me want to chop wood for hours now. <laughs> um, I think this might be the best thing since I spread. Oh, that uh, blue turtle's still there. Oh, now I want to chop all these trees. <laughs> um, should I? Let's just do another one, you know? Yeah, I was really curious to see if it worked on, like, actual jungle trees. Since those are, like, the worst to chop down. Oh, you know what? Let's try and check it out with the cherry blossom trees. But first, let me grab all the wood. I almost just said, um, but first... Let me take a selfie. Shout out to all the 2000 babies who uh, knew that song. Okay, let's check it out. Oh my gosh. I think I might have to add this to every single world I do know because that's amazing. That's actually amazing. Okay, but now my question is... Can I have both of these enabled at the same time? Okay. And then... Let me... I just want to see if it works on leaves. Okay. So it looks like it might only work with... How does it work? Okay. Maybe I have to have both of these off. Okay. What about, what? okay. How do I get the vein miner to work? Activate my miner utility by interacting with the item. Once activated, mine any ore, and it will automatically break the entire vein. Oh! So it only works on ores and not... Interesting. Well, I don't really like that. If anything, I feel like this tree capitator might be the best part. I'm just being honest. Um, what did I just break? Cherry? There we go. Okay, I really want to see this. And all these other trees. Oh, shoot. I forgot to activate it. This is amazing. Okay. Oh, you know what I wonder if it works with? The mangrove trees. 
Because those are like so sporadic. Let's give it a shot. How do I not have like a light on? That was pretty good. There we go. I was like, why am I not eating? Since I've added a bunch of the add-ons, I've definitely noticed a lot more lag, that's for sure. Um, but honestly, it is what it is. Does it break the roots? Doesn't break the roots. Okay, so it just only breaks wood. It doesn't break the roots at all. Okay, cool. You know what? I'm okay with that. I think I might be okay with that. Okay, let's run back home real quick. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is look for the, um, the, uh, what are they called? The sprites? What are they called? How, how do I find the thing that tells me about the mana? Wisp. In forest areas, keep an eye out for magical wisp. Okay, so I think that we should go out and try to look for a wisp. They might be over here. Let's take a look. I always feel so bad because I know that the dragons can't swim, but... You know what? You, you, we gotta lessen the population a little bit, okay? Oh, I forgot that I had a whole bunch of huh? birch trees. Here, little wispies. I hope that I don't have to go to a, a whole new, like, area in order for them to spawn. Like, I would think that they just spawn randomly, you know? But, I don't know. I guess I will let you guys know when I find one. Alrighty, so we are back, and I actually was working on some stuff. Look at our little sniffer! He is so stinking cute! And also, if you guys remember, we got another one, so we're waiting for him to hatch as well. Um, I figured out that they grow quicker on moss blocks, so I went ahead and just mossed up the whole area. Um, also, off camera, I was working on the area over here for our axolotls, which is super cute. I am loving how this is turning out so far. Um, don't mind these pillar blocks. It was just because it was getting really dark and drowns were spawning in here. Um, so I went ahead and bone meal the floor of the water and just kind of went from there um i added a whole bunch of lily pads just to add some more to it um and then added this pathway i decided to go with mud bricks since that's what we really had a lot of and i thought that it would look super pretty down there um so i'm pretty happy with this one. um the reason why I want to get some sniffer stuff is because I haven't really dabbled into the 1.20 updates with the um, archaeology stuff. Um, we did a little bit with the pot, like, um, but not really with the sniffer eggs. So I went ahead and just planted them since I know I'm going to be AFK for a little bit, just seeing if we can get some more of the flowers. Not some more, but get some of the flowers. Um, I went ahead and uh, lit up over here a little bit more, so that way the dragons wouldn't spawn in there. Um, I just killed two dragons that were in there. The spawn rates are pretty crazy. Um, let's go ahead and I want to get the axolotls, but first let me clean up my inventory. Since it is looking a little crazy right now. I also went ahead and traded uh, with the villagers to um, get some more glowstone. I didn't end up using my glowstone dust like I thought I was going to. Um, 
I just went ahead and bought it from the villagers since I thought it'd be easier. Which is cool. I'm I'm cool with that. Um, I want to see if we are able to breed the axolotls with tropical fish. I think it's um buckets of tropical fish that actually breeds them. But you know what? Let's just give it a try. It doesn't hurt to try, right? It doesn't hurt to try. Um, also, I was getting some more amethysts for our, um, magic stuff. Got some more amethyst shards, so that way we can get started with that. I want to do a build in regards of our magic stuff, so I might do a little bit more today. I might not, just because I want to make the build and do it, since I feel like that would be perfect. Um, so I'm going to put those in there for just a little bit, and then we'll come back to that on a different day, maybe later this episode. I don't know, whatever I'm feeling, right? So let's go ahead and grab our axolotls and our extra buckets of whatever we've got in here. Um, maybe, should we put some sea pickles down there? Yeah, why not? I'm not going to put the coral just because we have a whole bunch down there. And then I want to name some of the, that's not an anvil. I want to name some of these axolotls. Okay, so I am looking at like a thread of <laughs> different names for axolotls. And so the first one I'm going to do is the cyan one. And let's name him Aquamarine. I feel like that's fitting. And then, what does this one look like again? Okay, so it's like the the pink one. So I feel like the pink one should be named. Um, should we name it Bubbles? Let's name it Bubbles. I feel like, I mean, because I'm Bubbles, you know? So, Bubbles. Oh no, my anvil broke. Dang it. Hold on, let's make an anvil real quick. Man. I didn't know it was gonna die that quick. Well, actually, to be fair, I, I have been using my anvil a whole lot. And then we also need to name the dragons. Okay, so. Wait, did I not name Bubbles? Oh, I did. Okay, so we already have one Bubbles. Let's see what I should name the other one. How about Coral? I'm cool with Coral. Okay, so Coral. And then the brown one. Let's name it. I want to name him Finn. I feel like that's cute. Thin. Okay. And then for the gold one, I feel like... Oh, I was gonna name him Poseidon, but I feel like we should name him Guppy. <laughs> or should we name him Flounder? Flounder? Or is it a W? I think it's with a U. Flounder? That looks right. Okay, so we have Bubbles, Aquamarine, Coral, Fin, and Flounder. Yeah, I feel like I feel like that's good. Let's go ahead and let them free. Oh my gosh. Oh, I also put a big barrier around the area. Oh shoot. So that way, um, nothing can get in and hurt my little sniffers. Um, even though I kind of left this bridge for them. So they could technically get out over here. But you know what? I I feel like they won't. You know? I feel like, I feel like they'll be good little guys. So there's Flounder. Oh, it doesn't show their names. Oh, that really sucks. Okay. Well, they're supposed to be Finn. I have a feeling that I have to name tag them. And I just wasted a whole bunch of levels for no reason. 
and then aqua can i give this to you what about the fully grown one okay now she doesn't like that one oh so i also did not realize that i got a whole bunch of babies and only one adult um so i'm gonna have to let them grow a little bit and then i should be able to breed them and then in the meantime i'm gonna see what this is oh wait hold on let's do this real quick okay so let's kind of move them over here together come on there we go okay let's give it a shot because you are actually able to breed come on come on wait did you guys just move away from each other come on come on let the mom go there we go okay oh we got another yellow one okay that's fine i'm cool with that man that makes me sad but yeah there is a chance that we can actually breed them to get the blue the rare blue one so i'm going to afk for just a little bit and then um also let the sniffers grow up is the other one alive yet oh, so we need to name the sniffers i don't know what to name them oh <gasps> he is hello oh my gosh he's so cute this mod pack makes them look so freaking cute. I love the flowers on them. Oh my gosh, they're so adorable. Yeah, thank goodness I actually put the um, fencing around because this is what I was worried about. Oh, he's sniffing my little bed that was over here. Okay. Let me... Oh, I don't have any wood. I was going to make a chest over here, but you know what? Also... That turtle over there, I saved him, kind of. He's inside the fence, but he has, like, a little balcony over there. Um, so, he's, he's alright. He's just chilling over there. Oh, this makes me so happy that the axolotls are just playing in the... In a little pond? River? In the place I gave them. Yay! Oh, the little mom's got, like, all these babies following her. That is so stinking cute. Okay. So I am going to AFK for a little bit and play some more of these sympathies and see when they're going to grow up. Okay. So I have let the sniffers fully grow up and I've been AFK here for a while. Um, in between that, I have made some... I think I already made these chests the last time I was on. Um... But I did actually figure out that you need to use a name tag on the axolotl, so I went ahead and did that real quick. It wasn't that terribly inconvenient. So I went ahead and went fishing for a little bit, got some more name tags, and um, used some of the ones I had back in the chest room to just name them. For the sniffers, I I don't know what I'm going to name them. Oh, here we go. I was like, they've been here for so long. How have they even made anything else? This is, this is all I've got. One torch flower seed and two pincher pots. That's all I've gotten from them. So, I'm incredibly bored. Oh, I also made this, like, little structure for... AFK. <laughs> um, let's head back. I I'm just so bored at this point that I I will AFK there later. Just not right now cuz I I don't have the energy to do it. <clears throat> and let me go ahead and put this stuff away. Since I am so funny about my inventory. <laughs> Okay, and then let's put these in here. I'll name the sniffers later. I, I kind of want to see what everyone says we should name them, and also kind of come up with some ideas myself. 
So I'm gonna hold off on that. Now, I really want to get started on a new project. And that being a little, kind of like a wizard tower. That I think would be super cool. Now, the only thing I am thinking about is, do I want it to be in my area over here? Like, especially down here with, like, my potions and all that. Like, do I want it to be in here? Or do I want it to be somewhere else? That is my next question for myself. I don't know. Let me... Let me think about it, because if I did another build in a different spot, the place I would choose would actually be... Oh my goodness, I just fell. If I can get back up there, I will show you guys. It would probably be... in this area that we were in last time. I just think that this area is super cool. I mean, like, with the red trees, and it's in this... Actually, I kind of wonder if the wisps are going to be in this dark oak forest. And so, maybe it wouldn't be a terrible idea to make it here, but at the same time, I might have to bring, like, another enchanting table with a bunch of books in there. And some of my, um, <clears throat> what's it called? Potion brewing stuff, you know. Like, all that kind of stuff. So, huh, I'm kind of leaning towards being over here. Because I just think that this area is super pretty. Pretty, not pretty. Super pretty in the regards of, like, the mod that we're going to be using. Sorry, I'm just trying to look around to see if they did have any wisp. It looks like they do not. So, oh gosh. Yeah, you know what? I think it should be here. Like in this area. So let's clear out some area. because we need corn flowers right now for the dyes okay and then I kind of wanted to do like a gradient color so the first thing I want to make is like a tower so I'm going to do one two three one two three one two three one one two three <clears throat> no, I definitely think that this should be a little larger. Oh my gosh, I don't want to hit you. Please move. That is the one thing about these freaking dragons is that they can get so annoying. One, two, one, two, three, four, one. Excuse me, Mr. Dragon. Four, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two. Yeah, like, I think this is, I think this is a perfect, perfect size. And then we are just going to go up here. And then some of them are going to come up a few blocks. Just kind of winging it, you know. And then let's 
grab that again. I just want to warn you guys and say that I am not a great builder, so... Definitely don't take building advice from me. And, um... I'm gonna promise that it's not gonna look that great. <clears throat> like, so far, I think it looks okay. And I love the way that the cobblestone looks in this mod pack, so... That's why I'm using cobblestone instead of, like, you know, bricks or whatnot. I just like the, like, the jewels, how sometimes it has jewels in it. I just think that that looks super pretty. I definitely should have brought my, um... What's it called? The, um... Why can I not think of the name? The bamboo stuff. Why why is this like escaping my mind right now? So, maybe we should do, like, a... Something like this. But this, like, inside piece right here is gonna be filled with something else. Uh -huh. Oh, gosh. There's mobs. <clears throat> like, it's gonna be either... Oh boy. It's gonna be the uh, same size, but like have a, um, you'll, you'll, you'll see, you'll see. But I just wanted to show you guys like what I do so far. And I'll probably cut out the portion like when I start to make the roof. Just cause I, I suck at making roofs and so, I'm definitely going to need a lot of time for it. Okay, let's try to run back home before it gets so dark. Chest room! Ah! Okay, let me go ahead and finish up the build, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so, I went ahead and finished the tower. It looks a little derpy. Please do not mind it. <laughs> Um, but this is what it looks like as soon as the text disappears. But this is the outside of it. Put a little, a little <laughs> hat on it. Um, it's not the best looking, but hey, it works. And then I made this, like, little cage over here. And actually, a dragon spawned in here because that's what it's for. Um, there are forest dragons over here that I would love to tame. Um, just kind of have for, like, the ambiance, you know? Or ambiance, whatever. It's, like, the same word. But, yeah, I think that this looks okay. Um, definitely not the most prettiest. Um, but this is the inside so far. Um, this is the smooth bricks that I used. And then up here, um, I just placed some wool up here so that way the dragons wouldn't spawn in here like this one did. And then, um, I put some purple beds down because, I mean, when I think of wizards, I think of purple and Merlin, the, the wizard, or is it Merlin? I, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I should have made these stairs instead of just full blocks. I don't know. But yeah, I hope you guys like it. And I am actually going to end today's episode. I hope you guys like today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. I am a Hopeful Bubble, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! Oh my goodness. Look at our little tower. I am quite obsessed with it. 
give it a little side. I did work on it a little bit off camera, as you guys can tell. I added a little extra bit on the side. But the reason I wanted to bring the intention over here is because I see something new. Something I have not seen before. And it is this dragon right here that I'm very curious about. Okay. Didn't tell me which one it was. Okay, so I did the Night Stalker. Okay. Here we go. Okay, it doesn't tell me which one it is, but I have a good feeling. I'm so sorry. Um, you know what? I'm going to do it. Oh. Hello? I'm sorry! This is making me so sad. I'm sorry! Is he almost dead? Okay, he is. Oh, <laughs> poor little guy. But I have a feeling that this might be the Night Fury Dragon. Well, I'm not sure because it, it won't tell me. It says unknown. So what we're going to do is... Is that a donkey? Oh my god, I love donkeys. That's kind of a weird thing to say, but... I just love donkeys, okay? I can't help it. I'm going to keep him in there. You know what? I'm actually going to have him sit real quick. Do I? Did I bring? I feel like I brought. No, I didn't bring any saddles. Okay. Nope, no saddles. Okay, so let's run back real quick and grab some saddles because I really want to ride around on that dragon. Also, because I have no idea what he is. Okay, so. Do you have one in here? And then, there was something else that I wanted to bring. Oh, armor stands. So, let me go ahead and grab these real quick. Because I really wanted to make an armor stand. For, um... Our little area. I'm just going to make some extra ones. I know I'm not going to use them. Like, use all five of these. But, it's good to just have extras. Um, there's something else I wanted to bring. I want to get a familiar. Okay, so there's not actually familiars in this mod, in this add-on. Um, but I want to, like, kind of make one myself. So there's a couple of things that I've noticed about this, about the, um this pack right here the world tools it is so not really glitched but the books are glitched because every time and i mean every time i respawn in the world it gives me um new books <laughs> another one that i got off camera is the secure bunkers one and the reason i got it was because of something very interesting access cameras so when I saw that there were cameras, I was like, oh my goodness. And so in order to access them, you have to use this tablet. Um, you add a bunker, and this is kind of like all that it gives you. You can even do a bed, which I think is pretty cool. And then um, another one is manage cameras, which I went ahead and did one. And then we can view it. This camera is out. Oh, okay. So I'll show you guys when we get back. And there's manage defense, add security turret, and then add a guard dog. Um, in order to get those, you have to make a bunker and then add a security room. It's super weird. Um, skin. Oh, that's mine. So, yeah. I'm still messing around with this. Um, 
add-on. I'm not really loving it too, too much right now. Oh, wait. Let's bring the Dragonpedia. Do we have it? I thought I brought it in here. I might have to go find that, because that will actually help me a whole lot. Where did I put the book at? Hmm. If I was the Dragonpedia, where would I be? What's weird is like I don't usually keep Oh yeah <laughs> I know where it is. It's over in the the dragon area. Maybe. I don't know. Oh. I'm not gonna grab all of those right now. I will come back and grab them. Um right now I just need the Dragonpedia. And probably the Dragonfire book too. So let's run back to our portal. Um, nothing too different from the last time I played. Um, our sniffers are still hanging out down there. Living their dream. You know, just living their best life. Um, I didn't really AFK any longer after that last time. Just because I was so bored of just sitting there. Um, I wanted to actually go and do something, so I was just like, whatever, I'll, I'll do it another day, probably, probably not, and I definitely did not, but it's okay, it definitely happens, um, so, I wanted to, we're taking the long way right now, also because I want to get some lily pads, because they are pretty scarce in this area. Because I want to just use them for my area. I think they're so pretty. Okay. And there's just random cats in the water. It's okay. I should have just used a portal back at my house. But it's okay. It is what it is. So let's run back home. Or to the second house. So I can give you guys a tour. But first... Let's take a look at this dragon and see what it is. Since I have never seen this one. What are you? <gasps> it is a nightlight dragon. Okay, so hold on. Which one did I say? I am missing the nightlight one. Okay. So, that's perfect. Okay, so we got the nightlight one, which is, I think, the last, maybe second to last one I was missing. Um, cool, okay. He's a little glitchy. Not gonna lie. There we go, okay. So, I'm trying to be courteous a little bit with, um, like what I say about the add-ons because they're definitely very new especially like um all the newest ones that I've just added like this one. Oh, okay so they definitely fixed the bug of like when you land and it like goes super fast okay that's awesome I'm super glad that they fixed that oh there's another donkey I really want another donkey um but yeah, let me give you a little tour of our little um, little place. So I brought some extra stuff in here to work on today. And I just really want to decorate. This is the stuff that I used to kind of build with. Um, and then our crafting table. And up here, we have our little enchanting room with no enchantment table yet and then a little lookout over here just because i mean hello we gotta have a lookout um we'll go up there in just a second over here is just like my little bed i wanted a place to sleep outside or 
that's not in the tower. So I thought a little add-on over here would be super cute. And then upstairs is nothing so far. Um, I was going to put the library in here. And actually, I'm still kind of thinking about that. It's not a terrible idea since um, since it is... Um, oh my goodness. I thought that this wasn't all that shallow. I know, like, some of the blocks. Okay. But, yeah. I'm, I'm still thinking, like, this might be better for a, um... Uh, what's it called? An enchantment area. Just because it's a little bigger and it's easier to get dark in here. Down here, I definitely want to have, like, a potions room. And then maybe, like... Ooh, we should store, like, my, um, my little robe and all that in here. So, I think that'll be nice. Oh, my gosh. Let's get started decorating. Okay. Decorating. That sounded inappropriate, what I said before. Um, do I have? I do. Let me grab those bookshelves real quick. At least these ones. <laughs> Because I am broke right now trying to collect all of these bookshelves. I spent so much di so many emeralds, my bad, on trying to get all of these bookshelves. <coughs> and it took a lot of freaking time. I did not realize how much time it was going to be. <laughs> Um, I even had to sprinkle some, like, chisel bookshelves in here because of how ridiculous it was. And I still might have to go get more bookshelves because I do not think this will be enough. Also, please do not get cringe because I know I am cringed out right now that I'm using a pickaxe to break these. Um, I know. It, it really bothers me, too, but I, there's nothing I can really do about it for right now. I was thinking, like, maybe, just maybe, I could add, like, an underground kind of bunker thing. Um, and then that's where I make all my, all my spells, you know? I feel like that'd be cool. Just, like, find a way to incorporate that, um, mod or add-on. I had to put down these carpets because all the freaking dragons kept spawning in here. And I am not down for that. Not gonna lie. So let's go ahead and break these. Real quick. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, yep. We gotta do this. Gotta do this. Break that real quick. And now let's fill up this wall. Maybe put some here. And then we can leave that for right now. And then let's just scatter these. Because the enchanting table will go right there. And then I want it to be a little more dimmer in here. I feel like it's too, too bright. Did I bring any soul sand? I feel like I should have brought some. No, I brought freaking nether bricks before I did soul sand. And it is dark outside. Let's just run back to the house. I need a name for our new nightlight dragon because... He, oh wait, did I just spawn back here? Okay. Let's go to the chest room. Okay. So we need soul sand. How do you make soul torches? Oh, is it um not soul sand? What's the other sand called? Soul lanterns. 
Okay, it is soul sand. Okay. So then... I need a campfire? Oh, they're individual. I see, I see. Let's let's make a few. I thought you can only make them from like torches like this. Okay. So now that I made those, let's grab the iron nuggets and our iron. And then oh, you have to like specifically make iron nuggets. Let's just make a whole bunch. That's a lot of iron nuggets. I did not mean to make that many. It's okay, we're gonna use them all anyway it looks like yep so i'm just gonna take this with me and then what else can we bring that would be pretty cool um maybe some glowstone even though i think i brought some already some chains um we need nether wart oh boy do i have any nether wart is the question Oh boy. I don't even think. Oh, you know where it could be? It could be down in our enchanting area. Oh! That could have been bad. I could have died again. That was awkward. You guys have no idea how many times I freaking die from Elytra mishaps. It's pretty funny, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> um. Those stinking sprinklers always scare me. They get me every time. Okay, um, so mission failed. We definitely have to go to the nether. So let's go ahead and go to the nether and grab some. Okay, so I am back and I actually went a little crazy. Um I went to the nether and I got some nether wards and some more soul sand. Um, but then I also got distracted and I bought some more bookshelves since this was bothering me to the point of um, irritation. <laughs> um, but I would just went ahead and bought some because I was like, why not? I'm already like near the village. So let's go ahead and um, put down these soul lanterns and get rid of these little pesky little torches perfect okay it looks so good in here i love it um <laughs> this carpet looks a little crazy but it's fine it's okay it could be worse it could be worse I feel like I have a lisp right now, and I'm really sorry about that. Um, I had extra bookshelves in here. That's crazy. <sighs> it's okay. It's fine. I also got some candles off camera because I thought that they would look really cool like floating. Um, we'll work on that as well. So let's just place this. Give it some ambiance. Perfect. Okay. And then, let's see what else I got. Cauldrons, um, an anvil. What else? Furnace, I feel like, should be down here. Some brewing stands. Um, and then this is for my robe and all that, so that'll be nice. And then the nether brick would be really cool to have. Um, I brought a bucket for this moment I'm trying to think where this what this oh maybe the brewing stands would be cool like right here that could be cool okay um and then maybe just maybe we should put the anvil up here we can hide it in this back corner and then put the extra little carpet bits make it look like it was someone on purpose and I heard his shell or what is it called I heard these fall there's two in here now okay 
the nightlight scales. So he is shedding scales, which is good. Keep shedding scales, buddy. I should put like um hoppers under him. But I feel like that's that's mean. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like that's mean. Um Ooh, these glow berries would look kind of cool. Oh, wait, you can't put them right here. How about... No, no, no. Um, let's put some in here. And then how about downstairs? Since these are full blocks. And then here. Perfect. Okay. So, let's go ahead and place our brewing stands. Perfect. And then, where should we put the cauldrons? Hmm, should they be in the middle? Or, should I have the brewing room downstairs? See, I was thinking about adding a fireplace. But, that means I would have to expand the tower. Which I could be okay with. Because, honestly, it would just be breaking this window and then just expanding it in the back. But we could also make it two-layered. So, down here could be have a fireplace and then upstairs can have a fireplace. I think that might be cool. That might be cool. Let me... Did I really take everything back? I think I did. Or should I make it out of another brick to give it a... Um, give a variety. Let's go ahead. Okay. I, bro, what are you doing? Okay. I am going to pause the video and work on this a little bit and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I just reorganized my inventory. I did not add anything to here yet. Oh my gosh, that never scared me. Um, but here is the um, backside of the tower. It's definitely not the prettiest. <laughs> um, but I wanted to add a little campfire at the top. So I was going to do that with you guys before I did anything else. Um... Let's go ahead and make the campfires. I don't even remember how to make the campfires, to be honest. Camp. Oh, still book. Why is it doing that? A. M. P. Okay. So, we just need sticks. Make some sticks. And then let's make 10. And then let's grab the freaking scaffolding that I just had out. And let's place it up here. Perfect. There it is. And then let's fix my inventory. There we go. Okay, moment of truth. Let's replace these. Oh boy, I actually forgot to do this. Oopsies. And then. Oh, uh, do we have any? We do have extra nether. Let's break this chest. It's about to look real chaotic. Um, 
There we go. Grab those back again. Put everything in this chest. Gonna need those still. Sorry, it's a pretty quiet episode. I... I am really struggling to, like, find the words today. Um, which is pretty unlike me. I don't know. But, I am liking how this is looking so far. It also does not help that I am still not feeling that great. Um, like, I'm getting sick still. So, hopefully... Pretty soon it will resolve itself. Let's place those campfire blocks. Perfect. Forgot those hurt. Oh, I wish. Do I still have any more? I do. Okay. And then, do I have any more iron? I don't think I brought any more iron. Might have to run back and get more iron. But I was thinking, what if we do this? And then do a surrounding of iron bars. But of course, <laughs> I did not bring any iron. Because I know I brought iron nuggets, but that is not good enough. Let's run back real quick. <laughs>